So two individuals can stand the same point, but will see differently because one might be seen from an advantage position and the other one from disadvantage position. One might be seen from God's eyes and one might be seen from his own eyes. And you see, you can't see beyond your imagination. And that's why you must protect your heart for out of it comes the issues of life. Also, depending on your association, you know, like a songwriter wrote and sang, he said that I see better, I get better when I stand on your shoulder. Whose shoulder are you standing on? Who is behind you? Who is supporting you is very important. In 2 Kings chapter 6, if you read from 14 to 19, the story was told there, a man of God, his servant ran to him and said, Ah, my father, my father, we are in trouble. There's a army coming against us. What shall we do? And the man laughed. I like to read it to us. 2 Kings 6, 14 to 19. I'm reading the King James Version. It says, Therefore sent he thither horses and chariot a great host, and they came by night and compassed the city about. And when the servant of the man of God saw was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host compassed the city both with horses and chariot. And the servant said unto him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? Depending on where you are standing and through whose shoulder you are standing. Verse 16. And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that are with them. And the guy will wonder, oh God, there's only two of us here. Look at him. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes. May the Lord open your eyes to see the provision of God for you, to see the support God has provided for you, to see the security of God around you, to see what God intends for you. Look at that. He said that we may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw, may you see this season in the name of Jesus. And behold, and the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariot of fire round about Elisha. Can you imagine one man see the kind of security that God has given him? How that that man be afraid of anybody? And when they came down to him, Elijah prayed unto the Lord, said, smite these people, I pray thee, with blindness. I pray again for every one of us in any way that we have been smitten with blindness and we can't see opportunities, we can't see where what God is doing on our behalf and we have so much anxiety because we don't have the vision of grace, the grace of God upon our life. May God open our eyes. May God smite all those people that are against you, against me, with blindness in the name of Jesus. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. And Elisha said unto them, This is not the way, neither is this the city. Follow me, and I will bring you to the man whom you seek. But he led them to Samaria. He was in charge because of what he could see. And I conclude, Hebrew 13, 5 and 6. He says, Don't be give, given to covetousness. He said, But trust in God so that you can be bold to say the Lord is my helper. For you say, I will never leave you nor forsake you. See what happened in the case of Elisha. God was with him all the way. And they that are with you, they that are with me, are more than they that are with them. God bless you. Great Tuesday.